Hey guys, so I've been having a lot of discussions in the comment section about where the best place to store a w JWT token, which is a JSON web token, and I kind of want to talk about um, kind of what I've been learning and what the what I have been doing, which is local storage, and what I kind of want to try out next, which is cookies. Kind of go over the pros and cons of each and uh, why you might pick one over the other. So what I have done in the past is actually use local storage. And one of the reasons I really liked local storage was I was able to access the JWT token in React. So the cool thing about JWT tokens is they have a payload, so it, which is just an object, and you can store stuff in it. So like I could store whether the user is an admin um, or maybe their ID, you know, which could be like one. Oops. And anything I wanted in the token and so I could use that and basically render routes differently depending on what the token had in React and so what this allowed me to do is I could just check the token for example whether they're authenticated or whether they're an admin so let's say they try to go to the route um, admin panel and admin panel we only want admins to access so this user is admin is false so if they were to go to this route Without even having to ask the server whether they're an admin, I already know because the token says false and I don't even have to hit the server. I can just tell them, sorry, you're not an admin. But if they had admin true, then I'd go ahead and let them access the server, right? They'd hit the server, the server would verify that they actually are an admin and it's good to go. But as you can see in the case where the admin's false, it just saves a request where you don't have to hit the server. So I really like that. Same thing for authenticating and, you know, Basically, you can do some checks and, and put some values in this to save you to do save you from doing requests to the server. So I really like that, and that's what really drew me to local storage and why I've been using it. But one of the cons of local storage is you can actually modify and view um, anything that is stored in local storage. So let me show you that real quick. So here I have just localhost 3000. And this is basically where I've been developing some applications. So if I go to application and local storage right here, I can see there's a refresh token and a token. Um, and I can actually copy this if I wanted to, uh, or I could delete it if I wanted to and save it and it's gone, right? Or I could paste in the token I just got. I could add stuff to the end of it if I wanted to, save it. So like I have full access of what's being stored here. There's nothing preventing me from using it. So what can happen is that leads to a, one, clients can just mess up their own token. They're just goofing around, messing stuff up, which is not ideal. Two, it opens up an attack vector. So someone mentioned this and I agreed this, this is a very possible scenario, um, is let's say you just leave your computer open and someone comes over to your laptop, they can just come over here, look at your application, your local storage and basically get the token here and when they get the token what they can do is they can go back to their computer they can paste the token in their local storage and now they're basically logged in as you which is not good so just like there's nothing stopping people from coming and opening this and viewing it so let's say I was on a friend's computer anything like that I can just go and look up what their token their JWT token is and it's basically I can then access their account so that's not great, right? Now, not everyone's gonna just leave their computer open to let people come and do that, but note that's your, so with, you know, it gives you this nice pro local storage, but it also gives you that, you know, vulnerability. So with all security stuff, um, you kind of have to pick how much flexibility and optimization do you want versus security. And you kind of have to pick per application how secure you want it to be. Um, and what you care about and what you don't care about. So that leads us to cookies. Now you'll notice it's pretty much the inverse um, of the pros and cons are inverted from local storage. Here the user cannot view and modify the token. Well, they can view it, but they can't modify it. So like I can come over here to my cookies. I don't think I have anything here for local storage, or my cookies, I mean. So you can view the cookie here, but I actually can't change the value. and I just set an HTTP value and I make it secure and it's good to go. And then that way I can't, for example, paste in someone else's token into my cookie. But because I can't modify it, uh, or 
not because I can't modify it, but one of the cons of cookies is I cannot access um, it through JavaScript. So I cannot do any of these things that I was talking about right here. Um, that's a no-go when using cookies. So you'd always have to make a request to the server no matter what. So I want to kind of try out doing cookies next just because it is a little bit more secure and I'm sure there's lots of other pros and cons to cookies and local storage that I don't even know about but these are just some of the things that I have been seeing and I kind of want to try out cookies because they seem to be more secure and locked down than local storage is and you can still make a good application using cookies so why not try to make it a little bit more secure um, so yes um, so that's what I would recommend if you're making any application look at what is important for your application and how much you're willing how much security you're willing to uh, play with or willing to because you know not everything has to be ironed down locked down there's less critical applications and maybe this is important to you right here um, with local storage making less requests but I will be trying cookies out next and tomorrow I will be releasing a video with kind of like a few different methods I'm thinking about implementing with cookies just like my authentication strategy with that. So stay tuned if you're interested in seeing how I'm gonna be implementing cookies. So thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video.